the last thing mm-hmm. I'll say is there there's doesn't shock me at all that FTX actually owns zero Bitcoin. Because if you want to commit fraud, if you want to commit crime, if you want to upsell and wash trade pictures of monkeys, you don't use Bitcoin. This is a well-engineered freedom fighting tool for our species. kind of exposure to what we're seeing play out? No. Uh, Strike, myself, and Bitcoin at large has nothing to do with SBF and FTX. I mean, it's nothing other than absolutely disgusting and malicious crime. In the same way that someone can go hijack a car down the street from my house, that has nothing to do with Bitcoin either. Uh, Unfortunately, it's just an extreme level of criminal activity, crime, and fraud. Uh, however, I think a really important point to make is that the world is finally starting to realize that there's Bitcoin and there's everything else. The way I like to describe the crypto industry and blockchain is it's an arbitrage on the trend. I mean, Bitcoin is – humanity really found its stride in inventing Bitcoin. Money is the most valuable market good we have in any market. It's, it, it's nucleus to a functioning society, and we made and engineered the best version of it. And the fact that there are other cryptos that have been able to come along and take advantage of the pure desire and need for an invention and technological breakthrough like Bitcoin, and then be able to sell things like Orange Coin and Pink Coin and FTX Coin, which are just vehicles to arbitrage this trend and commit violent levels of crime. It's sad and it's disgusting. It's got to stop. So it has nothing to do with Bitcoin. If anything, it should be a very expensive and expensive and painful lesson of that there's Bitcoin and there's everything else. And these, there's it, the last thing mm-hmm. I'll say is there, there's doesn't shock me at all that FTX actually owns zero Bitcoin. Because if you want to commit fraud, if you want to commit crime, if you want to upsell and wash trade pictures of monkeys, you don't use Bitcoin. This is a well engineered freedom fighting tool for our species. And there's everything else is it's got to stop. So the arbitrage on this trend has been margin called. Uh, and it's over. And now people can see the difference between what is a well-engineered tool for humanity okay. and what is FTX counterfeit coin. Uh, you have strong opinions on this, and I, and I get that. And, and certainly many other Bitcoin enthusiasts, such as yourself, uh, have said very similar things on our programming over the past uh, week plus since we've seen the implosion of FTX. I want to get into that because it sort of speaks to DeFi versus uh, centralized. But first, I mean, the fact that you are seeing some contagion, at least in the broader cryptocurrency space right now. It's clearly a culling that's underway. You could argue it started before FTX. It's continuing now. Does it set back broader adoption of something like Bitcoin because it's considered, for better or worse, part of this broader industry? Sure. I mean, you could think of it two ways. Um, They had to get washed out, right? You had a criminal running rampant. They had to get caught. So... Better catch them today than tomorrow. So in that way, we're making progress. Actual real value that's pushing humanity forward is being realized, and those that were faking it are getting in trouble. That's a good thing. But no, I've always said the biggest cost of the arbitrage on the trend outside of the very obvious, and I don't want to dilute this, is just innocent people losing money, which is absolutely terrible and awful, and they should not have been allowed to be subjected to that. But that aside is the cost of just human capital. Is so that, like so I'm you're saying, saying unequivocally Freed is a crook. I don't I, – I'm not sitting next to my lawyer. I don't know what claims I'm allowed to make, but you tell me, Tyler. What do you think? Well, I, that's not for me to say. I'm, I'm the okay, questioner yeah, here. I think, I think the guy created funny money out of thin air, potentially washed it, borrowed against it with customer funds, and lost it all. Uh, all right. That's not legal. Okay, cool. Um, uh, well, not cool, but you, you know what I'm saying. I, I just thank you for your answer. Sure. Freedom fighting tool for our species. That's highfalutin rhetoric. Why do you say that? Uh, Bitcoin gives everyone in the world uh, property rights secured by mathematics. I mean, Bitcoin is the first monetary asset that we've been able to engineer with no natural issuer. Bitcoin has no liability relationship with anyone else. It is a, a guaranteed, fixed, protected monetary policy and instrument. I mean, in order to function any so, sort of scalable trade, which is underpin society, I, I grow bananas, you sell apples, Tyler, we got to find a way to exchange. Money is the nucleus of functioning human society. And we've been able to f- a breakthrough in computer science and engineer the best version of that that is accessible to everyone and equitable for everyone. No one has an advantage. There's no issuer. Even Satoshi Nakamoto had to use energy to get his or her first Bitcoins. Huge deal. Huge advancement. 
What does so regulation, like, like, what does this do to, what does regulation now do to Bitcoin, given the fact that there is now a, a bigger risk of a broader brushstroke used by regulators, given everything that we're seeing play out in other areas of cryptocurrency? Yeah, I mean, my take is either the SEC or an agency like it has to stop existing and admit to the free market, it's your responsibility. But if they're going to say that we will help protect you, they need to do that.